Hi guys, it's Pink Vision Tara here and I thought I would do a midweek check-in for uh, Air Signs. So that's Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It's a general reading, take what resonates, leave the rest. And maybe if it doesn't uh, resonate, check your other um, videos for your other signs, your moon sign, rising sign, if you know them. So, Air Signs, what is what are the messages you might need to know? Prince of Cups, maybe an offer coming in related to love, emotional offer. Five of Wands, so some conflict this week, um, air signs maybe, some petty conflict, a bit of jealousy, gossiping, fighting, um, maybe it's because you get an offer of love and someone's jealous. But it's normally pretty petty, everyone getting involved, too many cooks spoil the broth sort of thing. King of Swords reversed, wow. King of Swords um, is reversed as someone who's pretty mad. Um, I wouldn't want to mess with the King of Swords reversed. Uh, it's another air sign. Uh, they're bitter. Uh, they could get quite violent. So, yeah. Why is the King of Swords reversed, guys? What's happening this week? The rest of the week, Ace of Wands reversed. Someone hasn't been able to ace of wands reversed so someone hasn't been able to achieve something that they wanted so someone could be very mad at you mm. high priestess reversed someone's tricks someone's illusions didn't pay off wow someone's mad Someone's mad. Someone's trying to get people involved too. Maybe you did something to expose something. You mm. Ace of Pentacles reversed. Someone, I mean two aces reversed. Someone's doesn't have the passion anymore. Someone's financially not doing very well. Maybe they blame you. Maybe someone's blaming you for something that's gone wrong. Six of Wands. Yeah, there's a victory here. And that's why someone's very mad that you're victorious. So what's happen happened? Is it work? Is it family? Is it... Um, what's this related to? What have you uncovered that's made someone really mad? And what are you going to be victorious for? Look at people, I mean, Six of Wands, not just about um, victory, but it's about accolades and recognition. You know, something, whatever's happened could be out in the media. It could be in the spotlight, what you've done or what you've achieved or what you've uncovered. But it's definitely forced someone into a very dire st strait when it comes to money. It's almost like with the High Priestess reversed, um, the illusion's fading. The illusion. It's like someone's, what they thought was magic, is um, fading. Six of swords reverse. You've got two sixes here. Can I just get... Sorry. Drawing virtue. Six, don't worry or obsess over material items, including money. Worry lowers the effectiveness of your um, prayers. Fortunately, the angels can answer your prayers if you ask them to. So whether it be about money or something else, I think this, this, the sixes are talking about not worrying because worry creates more worry. So someone can't move forward. Someone isn't moving forward. And someone's mad about it. Someone's really mad. Someone's winning. I mean, in life, whatever it is, whether you are at work, some are managers, some are supervisors, some are cleaners. It, you know, everyone's on a different level. When you, you know, we have the Olympics for a reason because we want to find the best of their best. Some people win and some people lose and some come first, second, third. You know, that's, that's the way it is. Someone's winning here and someone's losing. And someone, the person that's losing is pretty mad. Four of Swords reverse. Um, the Four of Swords for me obviously is about retreat and um, time out, but it can be about illness. It can be about being forced into 
um, taking time out. You know, so that can be like a rehab or a um, prison. For me, that's what it means sometimes for me. The Eight of Swords is normally prison, but, you know, when you look at this card, it can also mean someone, you know, being laid to rest. Because, you, you know, you have to look at the images as well. Or someone being judged by God. Someone's watching over them of a higher power, the angels. It's reversed. I don't think this person has protection anymore. Whoever this King of Swords is, they don't have protection anymore. The angels are not watching over them anymore. Whatever they've done, they need, they've need they made their bed, they need to lie in it. And um, it's upside down now. Because the angels have stopped intervening and they want this person, the magician, manifesting. Three of swords. What's this person done? Involved a third party. Hierophant. Another ace reversed. That's three aces reversed. So, you know, the magician as above, so below. And not, it's not just about manifesting when you think about that. What you do in the 3D, what you do on this planet, is seen on every realm, whether it be in the universe, with the universe and source, God, whatever you want to call it. God sees everything. And when you're doing something low vibrational in this, on planet Earth, you know, it's not just the police and that type of karma you have to worry about. The universe sees all. And the universe now is taking away angelic help. This person's on their own. Someone's on their own. So there we go. You know, there's only, only so many times that, you know, the universe will offer you support and help and say, this is the right path, this is the wrong path. And if you continue going about down the wrong path, they won't try and help you move to the correct path. They'll let you land on the sword that you're, that you're carrying yourself. So air signs, Aquarius. What's an oracle message for the rest of the week? Aquarius. change of focus so if this involves you don't worry about it don't stress change your focus focus and and believe it's already happened the victory the accolades believe it's already happened because it is going to happen but another thing you know you don't need to worry anymore it's like when you change your focus you surrender let, let the universe step in because it already is and this is I think the message the universe has stepped in and there's no angelic help for this person anymore there was another one you got two awaiting results so maybe this is what you're waiting on you're waiting on the results of what's going on or whatever it is it looks positive you know you're grounded you're really grounded so libra libra what does libra need to know oh you got two as well release libra you need to release release the past release these toxic energies Maybe you need to have some Reiki. Or, or I almost feel for one minute, it's like you need to realize that you are more spiritual or more gifted than you realize. You need to open up. Don't be so closed off. You know, don't be so closed off. And dedicated effort. Look at this. Look at these more angels in the mirror. Look at that. Dedicated effort. If you want to be the best at something, you've got to put energy into it. And then you will. Um, so, Gemini, Gemini. What does Gemini need to know? Helpless and hopeless. Why, why have you got this card, number eight, helpless and hopeless? Someone doesn't know which way to turn or what direction to, to go in because they look the same. You know, they look the same. So Gemini, it's almost like, it, you know, the Gemini, the the two, the split, you know, not, I won't say split personality, but there's like, Gemini's about the twins. So you've got two directions to take. You don't know which one is the right one because they look the same. But on the other side of these mountains, there's something really exciting. So you need to really sit and focus and meditate and find out which is the right direction to take. 
this mountain or that mountain, these stairs or these stairs. So I think it's really about focusing, guys. So I hope this helps, but um, someone hasn't got protection anymore. So good luck.